All right, everyone, I just want to quickly explain to everyone that there are two ticker symbols that I'm going to share with you guys towards the end of this video. It's not one. So once one of them comes up, there's going to be another one. So stay tuned till the very end because the first ticker symbol is very important coming into this week and the next coming weeks. And the second one is fresh and new. And you definitely want to have this one on your watch list. This is a speculative one. So I want you guys to be aware of that. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold any positions on any of these stocks. I'm just here to enlighten you guys and make you guys aware on why you should add these to your radar. So I do a brief explanation towards the end of this video on why you should add that ticker symbol to your watch list. It has an upcoming possible catalyst due to the history of the chart. And then we're going to see why moving forward. It's one you definitely want to keep on your watch list. But the second one is at the very end. So stay tuned till the end. And I want you guys to be aware that it's a very speculative stock. So be aware of that as well. Do your research and do your due diligence to make your own rational decisions. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, everyone. Here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Gores Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And before we go ahead and jump into everything this chart has, I just want to quickly announce that I have a Twitter account now. The link is down below in the description. And for every single investor to stay tuned till the end of this video, I have a new ticker symbol to share with you guys that has been pulled down by analysis ratings. And this could be a temporary pull down or it could be something that we want to watch closely. So I want everybody to know that we don't know the bottom. No one knows the bottom, but you definitely want to keep it on your radar as it continues to pull down or how it starts to consolidate. So keep that in mind. So stay tuned till the end of this video so we can talk more about it. So here we are with SNDL stock Sundial Growers Inc. And it had broken through resistance, reached highs here of about 78.67, started to fall, and it broke through the 50 day moving average within the last couple hours of the day. And here we are seeing newer lows. So let's go ahead and move our resistance and support to its new location. Let's get the support to its exact point here. And I want every single investor to be aware of the fact before we talk about this resistance and support, I'm going to try to dissect this as much as possible and tell you guys about some numbers a little bit on the broader spectrum of things. And the first thing I want you guys to be aware of is 57.99. I'd round that up to 58 cents. Super important number if this support gets broken through. We want to keep that in mind moving forward and also the fact that it hit a newer low as it was being bearish so we need to see if this consolidates or starts to get pulled down again so it's currently at 65 cents i've talked about 65 66 and 63 cents being some important numbers here based off the chart right when you go ahead and look at it we talked about those lows and we don't want the stock to kind of break through this point. Like anything below that can start to mean newer lows, newer support levels, and getting deeper into bearish territory, pulling away from the 50-day moving average in the downward direction. So we're kind of right there on a thread, and we're in bearish territory. So I want every single investor to be aware of the fact that $0.65 cents is like the cutoff right before getting to 63 and then right after it breaks through 63, we're about to see these newer lows. And then you want to keep in mind 58 cents beyond the support we're going to talk about today. Now, it's super important to keep in mind, too, that this type of volatility is kind of normal for this stock. It's below a dollar and so forth. But we still want to watch it carefully, right? You want to be very mindful of these pullbacks. And this is a pretty big pullback. It went from 71 cents almost down to 60 that's like 11 cents in just a few hours now let's go ahead and see here the highest point the highest point once again is 78.66 right there it's 69 give or take that's an important point moving forward because that's what needs to be broken through by the bulls to reach newer highs and new resistance levels but i want every single investor to be aware of the fact that this resistance level is the most important resistance level in the next coming days and weeks for this to get away from the 50 day moving average and work its way up to newer highs super important so i want every single investor to be aware of that now let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit narrowed 
on the bearish side of things and then we'll talk about this resistance level in just a moment and we're going to talk about our support so the 50-day moving average here is 7009 i can't land exactly on it but just to round it down 70 cents super important to be broken through to get into bullish territory and anything below it is bearish territory now this is not technically a resistance level but i would use it it's currently sitting at 65 cents but this resistance level is 65.91 i just rounded up to 66 cents and that just gives me an insight or an indication that this is moving upwards okay it's not a real resistance level it's optional but i would use it i would personally use it just to know where the momentum is going and then i would probably look up here at 66 and some change and then up here which is basically almost the 50-day moving average at 69 cents to know how close we're getting or how far we're getting from the 50-day moving average now those are points that are optional but the most important one i would use is 66 to see if it's pulling up but it doesn't technically mean that this is going to break through the next resistance level that it's going to break through the 50-day moving average and that it guarantees that the bulls are going to continue upwards it's just an indicator to know where the momentum is going now our support level here is 6081 if that gets broken through you want to pay close attention to the next support level that i mentioned earlier how the stock is reacting between those two areas and if the bulls are trying to reappear and bring it back up or are the bears tearing this one down quickly and pulling it further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction you want to keep that in mind super important moving forward now i want every single investor to be aware that if this stock does not break through the 50-day moving average and it does not break through the resistance and it just kind of hangs out you know new resistance levels new support levels that we might see you know let's just say on tuesday and it didn't reach up here and it didn't reach up here there's still an importance here with this resistance level that we're about to talk about so there'll be new resistance levels and new support levels we want to keep those in mind moving forward and for the next trading day as the week progresses but the most important resistance level based off this chart for the next coming days and weeks is right there at 71.99 72 cents if that does not get broken through the bulls are going to have trouble pulling further away from the 50-day moving average and reaching newer highs and new resistance levels i want every single investor to be aware of that because this is the highest point before the fall before breaking through the 50-day moving average and before falling to these new lows here of 60 cents so this is the most important resistance level moving forward for the next coming weeks and days now if the volatility brings this one back up significantly we'll watch it but if it doesn't reach it you still want to keep this one in mind moving forward as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video so for those of you that have stayed till the end of this video the ticker symbol is fcel but i need you guys to hear me out as i stated earlier it's been pulled down by analysis ratings okay they could be correct or they could be rebuttaled by another analysis right or we need to just watch this to see where the bottom is and how it's going to react now nobody knows the bottom i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold i'm just telling you guys add this to your radar and watch this coming up in this week and the next following weeks because this sector is hot right now there's big potential here and this pullback could be temporary and if investor sentiment thinks otherwise of what the analysis feels or stated this could actually bring itself back up i mean how many times have you seen analysis ratings pull down a stock and then there's a rebound or there's a bottom quote unquote and from that bottom it starts to pick up it consolidates and it continues to run because of investor sentiment hope speculation and hype in the sector or in the market that that stock is in so you definitely want to keep all these things in mind now i'm not saying the analysis is incorrect or that they're not but you want to definitely keep in mind that the analysis rating could be true or it could be temporary 
That's what I want you guys to stay tuned for watching this one moving forward. Once again, that ticker symbol is FCEL, Fuel Cell Energy Inc. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. So for those of you that have stayed to this point, I want to say thank you because I know that some of you guys have probably already seen the fuel cell information in the previous videos. But since today the market was closed, I want every single investor to be aware of that going into this week and the next coming week. Now, the ticker symbol I have for you guys today is DGLY, Digital Alley Inc. And I have the chart pulled up because I want to show you guys why I believe this is a very important stock moving into this week. It's a speculative stock. So I want you guys to be aware of that, but there is a correlation here, whether it's indirect or direct on specific dates that the stock moved up. And I believe that if you put the dates together with the date that's coming up, there's going to be some similar move. Now it doesn't guarantee it, but it's showing that. So we want to pay close attention to this and you definitely want to do your research and due diligence. And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold. But I am here to enlighten everyone on the information on why this stock should be added to your watch list and you should watch it closely, keeping it close on your radar. So the first catalyst was here that I see, which is in the most recent months. And it was from October 30th to the November 2nd and then kind of holding itself up on November 3rd. That was election day. First run. Now it kind of just hung out sideways, kind of hung out in this area, going up and down. And the next run was leading into the 6th. So you could see the anticipation already forming since the 31st. It ran up. It dipped a little bit on the 6th. And then it ran up to these highs all the way up here at 398. And went down from 260 all the way down up to 398, almost $4. That was about a whole dollar and like 30 cents, 40 cents, if you go ahead and do the math. Interesting enough, this is election day. January 6th is the date that Electoral College was going to announce the official winner and then who was going to get inaugurated. We could see a dip quickly. It dipped down, ran up. It's consolidating right now. We want to see how this is going to play out tomorrow the 19th, which should continue the consolidation. And we want to see how it's going to react on the 20th. Now, history doesn't tend to guarantee or repeat itself every time, but I'm showing you guys my reasoning behind why this is a stock you definitely want to add to your watch list going into this week. Wednesday should be the catalyst for us to see this move up. That's inauguration day. When you put all three days together, they have a direct correlation leading into inauguration day. They all have a compound effect. What happened here? then makes the decision that happens here and what happens here is going to lead on to what's going to happen here. So these two days are showing me that inauguration may be the next catalyst. Now it's not guaranteed, but we want to watch this. We want to learn from this and we want to pay close attention to how this stock is reacting leading into the 20th. Now it's a big run here on the six. So I want you guys to know how speculative this stock is. It ran up and it fell down. It ran up, held itself up, and within another one more day, it fell. So this is a very speculative stock. I want every single investor to be aware of that. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position on DGLY, Digital Alley Inc. I'm just here to enlighten you guys and make you guys aware of a stock that I believe is going to have another catalyst run, right? Because of what these dates entail how they directly or indirectly correlate to how the chart reacted and how the next day that has a correlation with this date and this date, which is inauguration, is going to possibly make this run. Now, it's not guaranteed, but we want to watch this closely. I hope that with these videos, you guys are learning with this information. I hope to see your guys' reaction. What are your thoughts on DGLY, Digital Alley Inc., and... Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this with your friends and community. And as always, let's make some money.